Good morning. Good day, Marty Moore. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I am wonderful. I thank you so very much for joining us here live on KKVI mm-hmm. on the Balder BB Show in Dallas, Texas. I'm excited to be with you. Well, you're a registered nurse, and we're going to talk about something that uh, people should have their eye on across the country, this children's respiratory virus. Could you bring some sanity to it for us? Yeah. So, you know, one of the things with my role, I'm the chief nursing officer at Medline Industry, and so I work with hospitals across the nation. And, you know, what we're seeing is is that this virus has, in essence, kind of walked across the United States. Uh, It's in 43 states, and and we have uh, 513 conformed cases. Those statistics make people very nervous. But let's talk about what this virus is. It's a virus that's been around since the 60s. Um, what's happening with it now, EVD-68, though, is, is it's manifesting itself within children. And you're seeing, uh, especially children that have underlying conditions of asthma, whether it's diagnosed or undiagnosed, you're seeing exasperation of those symptoms. Um, you're seeing muscle weakness associated with it, which is very scary to parents. I've heard some parents say things such as, as you know, I, my, I'm worried my child will get polio. This is not polio, though it's a, polio is a virus itself. This is a non-polio virus that manifests uh, similarity in symptoms. Okay. Let me ask you a couple things. Then we have a couple of Facebook questions for you. But the first thing is, is this something that's airborne? It's been around since the 60s. How are they contracting the virus? So it absolutely is airborne, and, and it loves to travel. And that's what I, I always tell people about viruses. They love to travel, and they travel through droplets in the air. So it's whether it's coughing and sneezing, and then it's coming in contact with those droplets, whether it's airborne to you or it come, you come in contact with an inanimate object. Um, but you have to uh, have that moment where you come in contact with it. So I always tell people, don't let you, uh, your touch be someone else's touch. And so you've got to think about how do you minimize kind of coming in, in contact with the virus. Okay. I've got one from Miss Nash. Miss Nash on Facebook asked us, it seems that we have multiple viruses mm-hmm. in the United States at this time, Ebola and the children's virus. Could any of these be planted in the United States? And I thought that was a good question. That's why we selected that. Yeah, you know, um, like I shared with you, uh, EVD-68 has been around since, since the 60s. And, and every year we see this virus, it's just this particular kind of strain is really causing more illness. Um, Ebola is a virus as well. Um, Ebola is transmitted differently than uh, EVD-68. EVD-68 is airborne, just like the common cold. The common cold is a virus, and, and it, it you know kind of likes to travel through droplets of air. So what's important for people when they're thinking about viruses and they're thinking about, okay, what does that mean, is what do you do to combat that? And that's where your hand washing comes in. You know, we, in hospitals, we're like, you know, dogs on bone about hand washing. Using your alcohol-based um, uh, hand sanitizers. I love Sterolium. I use this product all the time. I use it all over and underneath my nail beds. And then, you know, for your, the Facebook question, the best thing you can do from a prevention standpoint, if you're concerned about viruses coming in, is disinfect. Microkill is a fantastic disinfectant. Wipe down everything, including your phones. Those are like one of the most contaminated things. And, and uh, uh, assure them that your touch doesn't become someone else's touch, meaning you don't come in contact with that virus. Okay, Marty, I've got one more from Facebook, and this comes from Mr. Kemp. And Mr. Kemp wants to know, would be, oh, he's saying, would wearing a protective mask like they do in China help us any in this children's virus? You know, I love, love, love this product. And I use it and I wear it, um, and especially like when I travel. And so this is the antiviral mask of, by, from Curad. It inactivates virus, meaning it kills virus. It's all natural. It's copper, uh, it's zinc, and it's citric acid. So to answer his question, yes. Um, wearing masks are absolutely one of the things that you want to do. The antiviral mask um, uh, really does touch upon that question. 
You know, and the other thing I would encourage everyone to do is get educated, understand this. And so go to uh, Medline.com and read more about EVD68 and what you can do from a preventative so that you feel more informed. Um, because part of trying to understand viruses is, is, is really educating yourself about them. Well, Marty, I want to thank you so much. You've, you've answered questions that people are now asking on an yeah. everyday basis. At least I'm glad they stopped the silly stuff almost on Facebook, so that's a good thing. But you <laughs> answered, some, you gave us some good answers and made it relevant to our consumer lives. I want to thank you so very much. Would you give me that website one more time, and then I'll let you go. Yeah, so it's Medline.com. Um, very, very easy website to go to and have people go out and educate. That's the most important thing. It is. Marty Moore, I want to, excuse me, registered nurse, I want to thank you so very much, so very much, and have a great weekend. Thank you. You too.